Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy Eat World, and today we're going to take a look at the problem with map rotations in BF4. As it stands currently, each DLC has its own map rotation, and this includes night operations and community operations, which only have one map to begin with. The problem with this is that as good as a lot of the DLC maps are, each DLC has a few maps that don't work on certain game modes. Also, each of the main DLCs only have four maps each, which really isn't enough to keep a rotation interesting, especially if some of the maps aren't that great. One of the ways that you can get around this issue is to play on ranked servers with custom rotations, which admittedly are pretty easy to find on PC. The problem with ranked servers though is that admins usually also change around the rule set, which ends up being terrible about 99% of the time. The simple solution would be for DICE to mix up the map rotations, but the problem is not everyone has premium, which means they couldn't join the servers. That being said though, they did mix DLC and vanilla maps in the large scale battle preset, so I just don't understand why they do it for one mode, but not for everything else. Now, I think the solution that a lot of people have been hoping for is that DICE will create some sort of premium rotation that includes all of the maps in the game. Either that, or they could create a preset with all of the DLC maps, so that at least there'd be more than just four maps in a rotation. Both of these options would be a big step forward, but the problem is, is that this still doesn't solve the problem of the maps that don't work on particular game modes. I think for this reason, the only way to make rotations better is for DICE to involve the community, so that they can actually figure out what we want to play. One way they could do this would be to let people vote for their favourite maps, which could be put into some kind of best of playlist. That way you'd have a rotation of the best maps for each different mode, which I think is a small change that would make the game a lot more fun. Another idea would be to tie in community missions with special theme playlists, like for example all of the urban maps, or all of the snow maps. I think this would be a really good idea because at the moment community missions don't really add anything to the experience, and most people just tend to ignore them. Now, all of this might be a big ask with Battlefront just around the corner, but it looks as though BF4 still has some life in it because not everyone is sold on the new game. We already know there's going to be more DLC coming, so that means if they do release it like the last two maps, we're going to end up with even more single map servers. It's already at the point where you can't find Russian TDM servers for community and night operations, and it might get to the point where no one is actually playing them at all. And this I think is ridiculous, because these maps aren't limited by premium membership and they really should be part of the vanilla rotation. Like I said though, this might just be too much to ask with Battlefront around the corner, but I really think DICE have got to get smart if they want people to buy DLC. I mean, there's no point buying something if you can't even play it, and finding service for just about every DLC so far has been very hard after the first month or two. BF4 might be on its last legs, but DICE have got to remember that they need to sell games in the future, and it's in their best interest to make people want premium. And that's why I can't understand why we still have these broken map rotations after two years, because it seems like such an easy fix that would make the game so much better. But anyway guys, that just about wraps up this video, so let me know what you think about this issue in the comment section below. And as always, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Also check out the links in the description below if you want to see more of my videos, or if you want to support my channel on Patreon. And until next time, see you later, and have a good one.